the person you deeply cherish feels a compelling tug towards you, as if an invisible force is pulling them closer, a magnetic attraction that's hard to ignore. This isn't fleeting. It's a profound bond rooted in their soul, surpassing mere physical attraction to encompass emotional and spiritual dimensions. They acknowledge that in the past, they made choices they now see as misguided. These decisions have trapped them in karmic cycles of suffering, a repetitive pattern of actions and consequences. This journey has caused them considerable pain, yet has also spurred their personal growth and transformation. They see you as someone with a rare and unforgettable energy, pure, spiritual, and deeply resonant with their soul. This energy goes beyond the physical or sexual. It captivates them emotionally and spiritually. They find themselves constantly drawn to thoughts of you, unable to shake the connection, even when they try to focus elsewhere. They sense a deeper, non-physical bond, reaching out to you through dreams, and perhaps even telepathy, seeking a connection that transcends ordinary physical boundaries. You might have sensed their restless and panicked energy over the past week, a manifestation of their desperate attempts to connect with you on a deeper, non-physical level. This tumultuous period reflects their journey through what is known as the dark night of the soul, a profound spiritual and emotional crisis marked by intense introspection and self-examination. During this time, they confront their deepest fears and insecurities, bravely facing their inner demons in pursuit of growth and transformation. During this phase of their dark night of the soul, your person is experiencing physical symptoms such as sleeplessness, high fever, and throat issues. These manifestations reflect the intensity of their emotional and spiritual crisis, a period marked by deep inner turmoil. They feel exhausted and isolated, yearning for your presence because they deeply believe you embody everything they desire. Currently, there's a notable opening and activation of the heart and throat chakras within the collective consciousness. The heart chakra symbolizing love and compassion, and the throat chakra, representing communication and expression, are undergoing significant expansion. This process is causing your person to undergo profound emotional and spiritual upheaval. They are navigating a transformative journey filled with challenges and intensity yet each step contributes to their self-discovery and spiritual awakening. Through this transformative process, they are discovering the power of releasing past mistakes and shedding old karmic patterns. They are opening their heart to embrace love and compassion more fully, and they are learning to express their feelings and emotions with greater openness and honesty. As each day passes, every moment seems to draw me closer to it's as if an uneasy impels me to observe and immerse myself in every aspect of your being. Um, this fascination feels like an obsession, a persistent longing that occupies my thoughts and fills my days with a mix of and weariness. I energetically pursue you, my heart racing with anticipation and my thoughts consumed by images of you. Yet, despite my fervent pursuit, I can't shake the feeling that you're drifting further away from me, growing more detached with each passing day. This detachment leaves me questioning everything. Do you no longer trust me? Have I done something to shatter your faith in me? Or are these doubts merely figments of my imagination? Are they negative thoughts that have taken hold? pushing me towards the edge of uncertainty. The uncertainty is overwhelming, 
the doubt eroding my peace of mind, leaving me in constant turmoil. Amidst this chaos, I notice signs related to you wherever I go. It's as if the universe itself is conspiring to remind me of you. Your name appears unexpectedly, in conversations, in books, on billboards. It feels like the universe is pulling me back towards you. A persistent reminder of your presence in my life. Simultaneously comforting and tormenting. There was a time when our connection felt incredibly strong and tangible. Almost as if I could sense your presence all around me. I would think of you intensely. And somehow, almost magically, I would receive a message or a call from you. It was as though you could feel my thoughts, my emotions, and my longing for you. But now, that connection seems to have faded. I no longer receive signs from you, no indications that you can still feel me. It feels like a wall has been erected between us, a barrier I can't seem to break through. Despite this distance, my desire to be with you remains unwavering. I yearn for your presence, your touch, and your love. However, my life is in disarray at the moment. I'm tangled in a web of complications, caught in a whirlwind of chaos that I can't seem to escape. How can I possibly express my love to you amidst all this? How can I burden you with my troubles when you have your own life to navigate? All I ask, all I hope for, is that you'll wait for me. I understand it's asking a lot, and I know it may not be fair to you, but I can't help it. I hold on to the hope that you'll give me the time I need to sort out my life, to find stability again. Please wait for me, because despite the distance, the silence, and the uncertainty, I still love you deeply and I can't imagine my life without you. In the realm of emotions and relationships, your partner is currently grappling with profound regret. They deeply regret their decision to leave you, to let you go, and to choose others over you. This regret isn't fleeting. It's a deeply rooted emotion that weighs heavily on their heart and mind. They want you to understand that their actions and decisions were not taken lightly or without consideration. Fear, confusion, and insecurities played a significant role in their choices. They want you to know that these feelings were not a true reflection of their feelings for you, but rather manifestations of their own internal struggles. Despite their actions and the pain they may have caused you, they still believe strongly in the bond you share. They see you as complementary to each other in every aspect, filling each other's gaps and making each other whole. They are keenly aware that their behavior may have come across as cold and hurtful, and they acknowledge the heartbreak it has caused you. They understand the pain they have caused and the harm done to your relationship. They are fully aware of the consequences of their actions and deeply regret the hurt they have inflicted. Your partner acknowledges that in the context of your relationship, you were the one who contributed more, who put in the effort and who gave more of yourself while they took more than they gave. They recognize this imbalance and regret not giving as much as they took. Their greatest desire now is to find comfort in your presence, to rest their head on your shoulder, to seek solace in your embrace, and to leave behind their worries and pain. They long to be a part of your life again, sharing in your joys and sorrows, and building a future together. This is why they keep returning to you, unable to let you go. They see you as a warm, loving, nurturing, and protective person. 
Your presence in their life brings a sense of relief, safety, and security that they cherish deeply. You hold a special place in their heart, someone they care for deeply and respect. At the beginning of our relationship, I initially believed you were trying to win my favor by presenting yourself as kind and gentle. I had encountered this pattern with others before you, both men and women, who initially displayed kindness only to reveal their true intentions once they achieved their goals. Thus, I couldn't help but view your actions through a similar lens, suspecting that you too were playing a role to impress me. However, as time progressed, I began to realize the depth of my misjudgment. Your consistent kindness and unwavering support started to chip away at the wall of skepticism I had built around myself. I had been so trapped by my ego, so accustomed to seeing the world through a lens of cynicism, that I had come to believe everyone was inherently selfish, always seeking something in return for their actions. This belief had blinded me to the genuine kindness you had consistently shown me. I want you to know that your absence leaves a void in my life, one I yearn to fill by reaching out to you, by sharing my feelings openly. There have been numerous occasions when I've rehearsed conversations in my mind, moments where I lay bare my feelings for you, where I imagine expressing the love I hold for you, the affection that fills my heart each time you cross my mind. However, when it comes to conveying these emotions in reality, I find myself at a loss for words. It's as though my feelings are an expansive ocean, while the words available to me are but a small cup, unable to capture the depth of what I feel. I struggle to find the right words, the precise phrases that could possibly convey the full extent of my emotions. I want to impress upon you that my love for you is enduring, not a fleeting emotion that will diminish with time or change with circumstances. It is a constant, a steadfast force that remains unaffected by life's challenges. Like the Northern Star, It offers guidance amidst life's chaos. My feelings for you are deep and sincere. Though I may struggle to articulate them, they are always present, an unwavering current beneath the surface of our interactions. I hope that in time, I can overcome my reservations and express my love for you as you deserve. Until then, I ask for your patience and understanding and I am committed to continuously improving myself for you.